Tonight, we are honoring the life and legacy of Eva Kor. The Holocaust survivor and humanitarian died today in Poland near the site of the Auschwitz concentration camp where she suffered and lost her family to the Nazis. She was 85. Our Rich and I spoke today with the Indianapolis documentary filmmaker who chronicled Eva's incredible life. The story of Eva. Ted Green's documentary about Holocaust survivor Eva Kors premiered April 2018 in Indianapolis. Sometimes Eva is too easily uh, encapsulated as the survivor who forgives the Nazis. There's a lot more to her forgiveness than that. It's about self-liberation. -liber it's about self-empowerment. It shows hope. It's going to teach people that there is always hope after despair. And there is always a tomorrow after disaster. And if we don't give up on ourselves and on our dreams, we can accomplish anything. Ted planned to be at the Indiana Historical Society today, sharing Eva's story in a virtual reality exhibit. Instead, he went to WFYI to produce her video obituary. He calls her death in Poland near the concentration camp she survived poetic. What gave her her juice was returning to Auschwitz, leading these tours every summer, teaching and inspiring. The Indiana Historical Society selected Eva as one of its 2019 Indiana Living Legends. And Ted was working on a video tribute to Eva to be shown here at the annual gala just three weeks from today. Ted has produced seven documentaries, but says this one changed his life. I don't think there's a better example you'll find of the power of a single person had to make the world better than that little four foot nine woman from Terre Haute, Indiana. The documentary allows Eva's messages to live on. I'm Rich Knight, Channel 13 Eyewitness News. What a remarkable life. Now, if you'd like to see that documentary or where it will be shown next, we've got a website called thestoryofeva.com and we'll post a link to that page tonight for you on WTHR.com.